not really butter. It's just back buttering. There's no butter here. It's in a churn. I don't have one of those one of those things from the farm to make ice cream with. Schluter all set, baby. So stand by with me while we use. Damn, I lost my train. It's okay, just gonna stand by with me. Hey, welcome to our basement remodel, everybody. And it doesn't matter if you have a $2 million house or just your little place in the suburbs. Concrete slabs and basement renovations are always about 54 degrees. We are gonna add what's called a warm floor system. It is Schluter's Ditcher Heat Duo thermally backed tile uncoupling membrane. Ditcher Heat E heating element. We'll show you how to use that. We're gonna use Schluter All Set. We're gonna use some of this. In fact, we'll turn this into this. And that is what this video is all about. I'm working on the railroad all the way all day. I missed the spot. Pass the time away. Okay, here are a few of the moving parts we have for installing our Dietra Heat Duo tile matting and uncoupling membrane. So rather than cut some tiny little piece, you know you're doing it wrong when you have a sliver cut. Instead, back up a couple lugs, and these things here are the lugs. Back up a couple lugs, get a nice straight cut, and a big piece to fill in a little void. And there you have it. Roll her out here, and I'm going to key you into a couple of things that we're doing. One, we wet the concrete so that it doesn't absorb moisture out of our thin set. Two, we already made our registration marks. Three, we push all of our thin set motor in one direction. That way, when we press it out, the air that's underneath here can follow its way out through these linear air passages. That's good stuff right there. Now we're going to roll it in. I'm going to get this last corner and then I think it's lunchtime. We have a megameter here. Like any fully outfitted megameter, it has all the bells and whistles. If you don't want to buy one of those, Schluter makes one that's specifically designed to integrate with these systems. We're going to test for continuity both in this wire and in the heat sensor. Same test, same way. Make sure you get a good bite on these alligator jaws. And one more thing. This sticker is very, very important to your warranty and delivering the customer service of a job your customer can trust is protected and done properly. You want your reading here to be 10% of the value written here and don't take the sticker off. This element is totally customizable. So you can work your way around a bathroom vanity or a known location for a piece of furniture. This can't go under furniture, it can't go under vanities, it has to be away from HVAC trunks, all that stuff. 
So not so with other systems necessarily to this level of specificity and ease. I mean, this is easy. Now, with this coil, if your room or your run of wire is longer than 10 feet, for the purposes of expansion and contraction, all we have to do is take the coil and jog it one lug. So every 10 feet, a jog, you would take that all the way across this floor. One last thing. In the customizability of this, if there is something that gets away from you in the layout, maybe a new piece of furniture, a change order, or it just didn't work out properly, it comes out like I'm, this is like, it's awesome. This piece here is the cold lead and it is to be installed in contact with the original floor. Don't believe me? Try it. They're in the instructions, which you should read. One way to think about this is that it's essentially the on and off switch for the floor heating. What I mean by that is you want to keep that away from any heat source. So an HVAC trunk, if this were a wood frame floor and there were a duct under here, this would not go here. At the same time, you want to think about some things you might not think about. Say, afternoon sun pouring through a window, heating up an area that could affect this, or even your dog's favorite place to lie down. So if you're a homeowner, work with your contractor to think through those permutations. And if you're a contractor, work with the homeowner and ask them those questions. Another element of common sense, the thermostat. This should not be operated for seven days after the tile system is put in. In other words, you don't want to heat the mortar and the grout and the tile before it's had seven days to cure and acclimate to the space. So the best thing to do with this is not put it in for seven days. Take it with you and then have a licensed electrician install it when the system is ready. The next step for me is tile, and I'm gonna do that right after this. We're putting shooters all set on the floor, thin set, and we're also putting it on the back of the tile. This is called back buttering. And in large part, I'm doing that because this floor is lumpy. So I want to have a nice, uniform, solid bond all around the back of the tile. So we've got our one-third offset. We've got a nice coat on the floor. And as I put this tile down, I want to explain why, and one of the things you want to do, by the way, let me have about 80 more segues, is to wiggle it into the floor. Get that thin set to bond, squish out all the air behind it, got our spacers in here. That is nice and flat. I can see it. Oh, that's great. Now, there's a long monologue about tile. For stuff like this squeeze out here, we want to carry a brush. And this is my hide brush. I use this for all kinds of different things. Get it wet, throw the water out of it, and just screed that right off. That way, tomorrow when we come back to grout, there won't be any high spots or we don't need to chase around through here with a utility knife, which is Bad news for wire in the floor. You don't want to do that. So sometimes the easiest problems to solve are the ones you don't have in the first place, and this is one of those. to say in our outro here, what we call the end of a video, that I liked the Schluter Dietrich Heat Warm Floor System we put in. What I wasn't prepared to say was that I love it. 
It has totally changed. Not a little, a lot. Totally changed the environment in this room. This is what I'm getting after. Its whole is greater than the sum of its parts. Yes, we have the insulated membrane. Yes, we have the three lug spacing on our cable and our heat sensors placed smartly. And we rolled it out and used Schluter all set, thin set to get it down. But those are the parts that create this hole that is so comfortable, I can't describe it. And it's heat, like electricity. I can't show it to you, it's invisible. It has been freezing outside. But <laughs> I hope the smile on my face lets you know it is comfortable and man, it was worth every inch of the way to get us here. If you liked this video, and I hope you did, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. That button's down there and comment. Think about that the next time you're doing a reno. And in the meantime, I'm gonna get back to enjoying this floor. I'm out, everybody.